Hi, I'm Mark Powers for This Old House. A cedar fence made of square lattice panels and chunky posts creates a decorative accent that will stand up to any climate. To build your own, first lay out the fence line using stakes, a mason line, and tape measure. Use the Pythagorean theorem to create a triangle with a 90 degree corner where the fence line meets the house. Adjust the height of the fence line using a line level as a guide. Next, dig a hole that's about three times the size of the post's diameter and deep enough to go below the frost line. At least one third of the post should go below ground. Most of the time, fence posts can be set and tamped in a mixture of crushed stone and soil. But if you're working with sandy soil like we are here, set the posts in concrete. To keep water from seeping between the concrete and the wood, protect the post with self-adhesive flashing. Pour about six inches of drainage stone into the hole and tamp it down. Add or subtract some of the stone to get the correct height. Set the post in the hole, tack a piece of one by scrap to the front of the post, and position the post so the scrap is touching the mason line. Clamp furring strips to its sides to hold it plumb. Pour dry concrete mix in the hole around the post. Pour water into the hole until the mix is saturated and mix it up with a furring strip. Then let it sit undisturbed. Next, cut and rip the one by sleeve pieces to size. For a cut list, just click the link on this page. Use the cut list to build different sleeves for a middle post, end post, or corner post. Assemble each sleeve with polyurethane glue and nails, except for the top blocks. Set those aside. Now slide a sleeve over the post you already set and screw the sleeve in place flush with the top of the post. To create the fence panel, rip three quarter inch strips, then cut the strips and two by fours to size to create the frame. Screw the stops to the two by fours using spacers to set them back three quarters of an inch from the front edge of each board and centered along its length. Drill drainage holes in the bottom frame piece and then screw the side pieces between the top and bottom pieces to complete the frame. Use a circular saw to cut the lattice panel to size and then fit the panel into the frame. Screw stops to the top and bottom boards to sandwich the lattice in place. Butt the panel against the first post to locate the position of the second post. Dig the second post hole, add drainage stone, and then position the post. Attach the panels to the posts by driving screws through the frame and into the posts on the back side of the lattice. Check that the panel is level and then add concrete and water to set the post. Allow the second post to set undisturbed, which usually takes about 45 minutes, and then use the next fence panel to position the following post. Continue using your panels to space the remaining posts. Once all the posts and panels are installed, secure the side stops and upper support blocks. Scribe and cut a cap rail to fit between the posts on top of each panel. Secure the cap rails and post caps with a polyurethane construction adhesive or tack them in place with a nail gun. Once the last cap is secured, add some plantings and step back to enjoy the newfound curb appeal. Mm -hmm.